Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are stepping onto the track for this evening's fourth race. This is the invitational pace of one mile, a purse of $10,000. Win place show, exact to trifecta, pick three, wagering begins here. Scratch the one, Bond Star in, judges. A field of five, number two, come on, Morgan. Owned by Jerry Summers of Pickerington, Ohio, and Bruce Churches of New Albany, Ohio. Trained by Mike Metters with Jamie Dunlap at the lines. Number three is confirmed winner. Owned by the... Of Dravo Maria Stables of Yonkers, New York, trained by Jeff Miller. Joe Adamski is up. Number four is Super Gizmo, owned by Blatchford, Presser and Presser. They're all of the Buckeye State, trained by Ron Potter with Dan Noble. Number five is Capital Request, owned by the Quap Capital Acquired Stable of Frankfurt, Ohio, trained by Dan Ader. Kyle Ader is at the lines. And for the outside of the six is Daisy's Boy. Owned by Craig Colston of Springboro, Ohio. Trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Brett Miller, Ian the Sulky. Confirmed winner, Super Gizmo, Capital Request, and Daisy's Boy on the outside. Field in motion. They're off fan pacing and firing away from the outside. There goes Daisy's Boy, who's on the go. Super Gizmo is away in two. Coming away, racing in third. That is Come On Morgan. Away in fourth is confirmed winner. Away in five and trailing the field is Capital Request. Can see them all as they wheel by the opening eighth and pace over the opening quarter. On top of the field, Daisy's Boy is carving out the fractions here. The team of Virgil Morgan Jr. and Brett Miller leads the way with Daisy's Boy. Along the inside, Super Gizmo is stalking in second by the opening quarter and 27 seconds flat. They'll pass by the stands for the first time and head on down to the half and Daisy's Boy at 5-2. to two. Leads it here by a length and a quarter. Super Gizmo is racing into, rolling under the wire with five-eighths of a mile remaining. Super Gizmo along the inside in two. Come on, Morgan races third. Confirmed winner, the rail is racing in fourth and fifth and trailing the field is Capital Request as they wind around the clubhouse, turning on over to the half. Daisy's Boy and they're still in straight alignment here reaches the half in 56 and four fifths. A second panel at 29 and four. Off the turn and driving down the back side of the one to catch is Daisy's Boy and let it throughout along the inside. Super Gizmo is pacing along nicely in second. Come on, Morgan races in third. A gap of two and fourth. That is confirmed winner and yet to move yet. That is capital request and now he comes to the outside as they race towards the three quarter mile mark of the race and Daisy's Boy says catch me if you can boys. Three quarters and 124 and two fifths. Backside 28 seconds flat They'll pace the final turn and head to the top of Heartbreak Lane. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Daisy's Boy with the lead here. Into the inside. Super Gizmo is trying to come to him along with Capital Request. Come on, Morgan to the outside. Confirmed winner on the inside. But as they roll within the final 16th, Daisy's Boy. Very impressive. Gate to wire. Very close for a second there. The time of the mile, 151, four fifths. Daisy's Boy. Eight to wire, 151, four fifths. Here's the six, Daisy's Boy. A five-year-old bait outing by Jenna's Beach Boy and of a shady Daisy mare. She by Falcon Elmahers, or Falcon Sealster, rather. Owned by Craig Colston of Springboro, Ohio. Trained by Virgil Morgan, Jr. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Brett Miller. Posting the third win in 2003. Home a winner in 151-4, the six, Daisy's Boy, Brett Miller.